Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie and I'm the organic esthetician. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my results so far after four weeks of using the Lima laser at home. I'll be walking you through how I've integrated this device into my daily skincare routine because it does require daily use. Some tips, some tricks, and we'll touch lightly on the Lima skincare, their serum and their cream, which I've started to integrate into my daily skincare care routine as well. Okay, so I've previously made a whole video going deep into what the Lima laser actually is. While it does use near-infrared light, it is not an LED light therapy device. It's a cold laser. I talk about what cold laser is, why I feel that the Lima warrants its price point based on the type of modality that it offers. All of that and the answers to probably the majority of your questions are in that first video that I made. I'm going to put a link to it down below and put a card right up here. So unfortunately, the last video I did was my introduction to the Lima laser. That was four weeks ago. I've been so busy and I'm so sorry that I haven't made another video since. I had a lot of content for you in November getting ready for all the Black Friday sales. So I hope that if you were in the market for a device that you got a really amazing deal and that maybe one of my videos helped you better understand which device to get or how to use that device once you've purchased it. So I've been busy opening up my new LA studio. I go down monthly now to see clients in LA and I have a really beautiful new space that I moved into last week and then spent the rest of the week seeing clients. Um, it was very successful and I can't wait to be back again in January. All right, so I think a lot of you like me to be a little to the point on this. So let's just look at these before and afters. Okay, so let's be kind. Uh, I have to say that when I flip my camera to face me, it is not a gentle lens. <laughs> it's like really intense. Um, and I'm a little pink in both after applying skincare. That's just kind of how my skin is. Definitely veer sensitive. What do we see? It's subtle. I see a little shift around my eyes, a little bit on the nasal labial fold or like on my depressors. I think overall, like color, tone, texture, I see an improvement. I have to admit that these pictures are very subtle. Kind of what I was expecting. It's only been four weeks. That being said, in real life, looking at my face every day, I feel like I'm starting to see firmer skin. And I also think that my skin health overall has improved and maintained that improvement. I'm breaking out less when I do get a little something. Using the Lima laser right over the top of it speeds up that recovery. It's also helping to prevent long-term scarring in those areas where I am prone to breakouts. I feel like my under eyes look a little better. I cannot tell you how like deeply tired I am. The last two months have been a lot and I am so grateful for every moment of it, but I'm looking forward to a little break after Christmas. So let's just make it till then. But I do feel like I'm seeing a little less puffiness under the eye and just, again, subtle shifts. Keep in mind, I am a third of the way through. And when it comes to collagen stimulation, it takes a while. I really wasn't expecting to see a crazy difference in my skin at this point. I think that I am on par for the course and am going to keep with it and see what 12 weeks looks like. Okay, so let's talk about how I'm actually integrating this into my routine. I'm going to give you a demo in just a second um, on bare skin and like really show you what I'm doing. I've found that while the treatments are long, I am still managing to fit them in. I have to be honest, and I think that I tell you this a lot on the channel, doing things to my face on a daily basis is really challenging to me because I'm just busy being up in your face. <laughs> Historically, I have not always been consistent with my device routine. So all of that being said, I still think that the Lima is pretty easy to integrate. Obviously, you want to use it on a clean prepped face. You don't want to do it over makeup or over an SPF. But during the day, because I'll just have skincare, no sunscreen on my chest if I'm wearing a high neck shirt, 
I will pull my shirt down and do the Lima on my chest. Uh, when I have time, when I'm sitting around, I've done it in the car. Maybe not the safest thing, but when you are driving on the five for seven hours, sometimes you got to utilize the moments that you have. I would say most often I am using this tool at night, either in front of the TV while sitting on the couch or in bed right before I'm falling asleep. Because I use my device for sometimes a full hour. Like I'm just hanging out on the couch holding this guy on my skin. Maybe I'm watching like an episode or two while I'm doing it. I find I need to charge this nightly. So just pro tip, if you are using your device for longer periods of time in a single use, pop that battery into its charger every night after you're done using it so that it's got a full charge ready to go for the next day. You don't have to be really mindful. All right, so let me show you. Okay, so I have on my Essence from Lucerne as well as their Serum Absolute Rehydrate. I'm gonna use the Lima Laser Serum. I've been really liking this. It's a creamier consistency, as you can see. Let that color give you indication of scent. It's like a little natural, a little earthy. I kind of appreciate that. There isn't any synthetic fragrance. And I put that all the way up underneath my eyes. One of the things I really love about the Lima is that you can use it directly over your skincare. Again, just make sure you're not using any retinol or alpha hydroxy acids in conjunction with the light. Now for slip, I really like using a facial oil. So this is my absolute favorite oil right now. It's also very cost effective. I retail this over on the OE site. And I do like three drops of the oil. So this is 100% organic plum oil. And plum kernel has this natural marzipan scent. So it smells insanely delicious. It is antioxidant and vitamin rich. So I use it in two ways. One is just doing holds. Your holds are three minutes long. If you want to be like super diligent, you can just set a timer on your phone. I kind of just hang out for what seems like three minutes. Now, places that I like to do my holds are here on either side, essentially on my depressor, where I get a little downturning, but a little bit of a pocket. I've talked about this in some of my other videos. It's a little bit of skin laxity, probably a little bit of fat pad slippage, and I just hold it here. I'll also do it like here at the nasal labial fold and right up underneath my eye. Totally safe to use around the eye because of that speckle, that honeycomb lens, but I'll just look up and hold it here. If you have a lot of puffiness under the eye, you can do glides here. Anywhere that you have fine lines, maybe here, maybe here, maybe here, you want to do holds. Anywhere you have a breakout, you want to do holds. Anywhere you have pigmentation, hold. Any area you want to focus on and target, that's where I suggest doing those three minute holds. Now, remember if a three minute hold, is an option your glides are going to need to be really slow so if you're going to do your glides you're going to repeat passes over your area of focus quite a few times moving really slow but here you can get a little bit of lymphatic drainage with your treatment if you are going to glide the device on the skin, you can use it in a few different ways. You can do lymphatic drainage, gliding down the neck and out from the center, just like you would with a gua sha or a gemstone roller. But unlike those devices, you can do a light return, you want to keep the device on the skin the whole time that you're using it. So this is going to be really great for someone with puffiness. We're just in need of a little extra detox.
Alternatively, you can use it to sculpt and lift. So your movements are going to be very similar, but instead of going from the center out and down, you're gonna go from the center out and slightly up, giving a little bit of lift and sculpting to your movement. Subtle, easy, not microcurrent, but you still get a nice little lift. The wonders of manual massage. When I'm done doing my treatment, I'm gonna use the cream. Again, kind of earthy, very moisturizing, rich without feeling too heavy. If you like something a little lighter for the day, this would make it fantastic nighttime moisturizer. Lima Skin Care. So Lima was incredibly generous to send this to me. It just showed up in the mail one day. I wasn't expecting it. A very pleasant surprise. I would say that they are pretty clean. There's no synthetic fragrance or colorants. All the Lima products are luxury products. So I know that this is not in everyone's budget. Don't feel like you have to purchase the skincare if you're using the laser. So the Lima skincare is powered by what they call Genolytics. So essentially that means the study of genes to increase longevity. I think that it's really interesting what Lima is doing. And I think that there is a new emerging category of skincare products and personal care companies that are really looking at the actual root causes of aging. I think often skincare is reactive. You're using products topically to respond to symptoms of aging that are happening on the surface of the skin. I definitely appreciate this bigger picture approach. Aging happens on the inside. That's why I'm a huge proponent of electrical modality and alternative therapies for aging because they really get to the root cause of what is going on in the body. So it's a two-step system, a serum and a cream that were designed to be used together. If you use a zinc-based product with the Lima skincare system, you can get this yellow accumulation. So they suggest opting for a non-zinc sunscreen. That really just isn't in the cards for me. So what I've been doing is using their cream in the evenings as opposed to during the day. There's also retinol palmitate in the cream along with Bacuchiol, which I find just lends itself to being a nighttime product, but they suggest using these morning and night. Both the serum and the cream are formulated with 12 patented cosmeceutical grade products. Essentially, these are active or blends of actives that are used together in the formulation. Here you can see some of these blends that I'm talking about. So they have a hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, palmitamide, MEMA for elasticity and immunity, beta-glucan, an amazing ingredient for elasticity and immunity, really good for skin health and microbiome, a femur, which is an extract that helps increase skin or cellular energy and reduce senescence. Betatane, energy, epigenetics, hydration. Very interesting. Propendiol, hydration. Aquoxyl. Some of these things are hard to say, huh? Uh, this is a hydrating blend. L22 has a bunch of oils and esters and squalene. It's all about promoting that lipid barrier and locking in hydration. SNAP8, one of my favorite peptides, the acetyl octopeptide 3, which promotes elasticity in the skin. And telangin, acetyl tetrapeptide 40. Again, we're increasing elasticity. Corsavita, quercetin, which 
reduces senescence, increases circulation, and promotes elasticity. Mitoprime, ergothionine, an amazing ingredient that increases ATP at a cellular level. All of them are paired with this special delivery system called a patented subcuticle delivery system. I was really trying to look into more on that and I didn't quite find it. Maybe I can get some information from the company on this delivery system and loop back in my 12 week review. Ultimately, the idea is that these actives are penetrating into those base layers of the skin where they're going to be most effective. So we're using blends of actives that penetrate the skin on the deepest layer to promote longevity. Again, I've really been enjoying the products and especially have been enjoying my Lima. So in eight more weeks, I'm going to pop back on here for my final 12 week before and after. And I think by then we're going to really start seeing some shifts. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you subscribe. I'll put the links to the Lima and Lima skincare in the show notes down below, along with links to my website, my shop, my shop, my shelf, all the places you can find a curated selection of skincare products picked by me. In the meantime, happy holidays. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas break and a fantastic end of 2023. And I am so excited to see you all in the new year. This is kind of a great opportunity just for me to say thanks. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being sweet in the comments. Thank you for coming to see me in real life. I get a handful of new clients every month that found me from YouTube. And I think that it's just the coolest that this all kind of comes full circle and I'm able to actually get my hands on your face. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And I'm really excited what 2024 has in store for us. So if I don't see you again before the end of the year, Happy New Year. All right, everyone. Bye.